Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing how I put together Burda style pattern 6718. I am making view A in this beautiful bottle green sweat fabric. I started out with tracing the pattern. I prefer doing this over cutting out the size as I preserve the other sizes this way and can reuse this pattern. Once everything was traced, I added half a centimeter of seam allowance as I will be sewing most of this with the overlocker. I roughly cut all the patterns out in preparation for pressing them, otherwise they will roll up like crazy. After pressing, I cut the pieces out neatly and started pinning it to the fabric. Once pinned to the fabric, I cut the pieces out. This was done in a few stages as my table wasn't big enough to accommodate all of the fabric at once. Once cut, I removed the pattern from the fabric and started working on the actual construction. I started out with the front pocket, as this would be easiest to do before everything else was put together. I pinned in all of the edges with a 1cm seam allowance except for the pocket opening. These edges were basted. After that I pinned in the pocket opening 2cm and top stitched those down. Once that was done, I pinned the pocket in position on the front. A first line of stitching was done very close to the edge to secure the pocket to the front. After this, I removed the basting thread to make sure it would not get in the way. A second line of stitching was done to put all the seam allowances in place. This stitching is done about a quarter inch from the first line of stitching. Once this was done, I pressed the pocket to ease out all of the wrinkles and get a nice clean finish. When the pocket was done, I started working on the hood. I marked the seam allowance on one of the pieces, one centimeter in. I pinned the hood pieces together, right side to wrong side, matching up the seam allowance. This was pinned and basted. I made sure to keep the basting on the outside of the outer piece so I would have plenty of space to work on the inside. On the inside I folded the raw edge in and pinned this down. I used my tailor's board to create a better surface for pinning the curves. This was then top stitched. Once that was done I removed the basting on the outside as it would interfere with the next step, which is doing the exact same thing as I did on the inside, folding under the raw edge and top stitching down. This creates a very nice counter seam which finishes off everything neatly. I decided on this because both the outside and the inside would be seen, especially if the hood was up. So I wanted everything to look very neat and finished. After stitching, I pressed the seam flat with the help of the tailor's board. Don't forget to water the Lucky Clovers. When the hood pieces were together, I folded in the front according to the pattern which was 45 cm I pinned this down, keeping the pins close to the fold line. After that I folded under about a centimeter and stitched this down. After that I pressed it to create a nice and neat finish. When the hood was done, I continued to the actual body. I pinned the sleeves to the back and front, matching up notches and stitched this down with an overlocker. I kept the side seams unsewn as this would make it easier to install the hood. I pinned the hood in, matching center front and notches. And stitched it down with an overlocker. Up 
After that, I sewed up the side seams. First, I knotted up the thread tails from sewing in the sleeves to keep those relatively lined up. Then I pinned up everything else, making sure that my pins were far enough away so I could put this under the overlocker easily. The pattern did come with pattern pieces for cuffs and a band for around the bottom, but my fabric wasn't that stretchy, so I ended up finding this very nice green and grey striped fabric to use for that. I cut out the cuffs and the bottom band, pinned the sides together and sewed these with the overlocker. I folded everything in half. To pin the cuffs on, I divided the arm opening and cuff in four and pinned the cuff on matching markings. For the bottom band, I used the same process, dividing it in eight to distribute the fabric evenly. I sewed this on, stretching the striped fabric while sewing to match the widths of the arm openings and bottom. After stitching the bands and cuffs on, I clipped away all of the loose threads and the project was finished. I think this sweater turned out great. I really love the color and the fabric and how easily this came together. I hope you liked the video too and you will subscribe to see more videos of mine in the future. Thank you for watching!